Right, here's a rough guide to uh, assessing the backlash on this thing. I'll just grab the uh, the carriage and pull it back and forth. Now we're reading there. I can see about 10, 18, 0.18. Pull it, pull it, and then we get 0.35. I will get an excursion of about from 16 or 17 to 35, which is about 18 to 19 divisions, which roughly translates to 0 0.1, 0 0.18 to 0 0.19 of a millimetre, which is fairly substantial. Here is my design for the new lead nut. It should be possible to adjust it to take out any backlash. We'll see if this works at the end of the vid. What we need to make is some of these. They're made from Delrin, an industry standard plastic for lead nuts. It has high wearing resistance, low coefficient of friction and has good machinability. Here's the V-carved Pro 3D model of four of them. <coughs> And now with my trusty uh, cordless screwdriver in dismantle mode. Holes lined up so we can get these bolts. Certainly does look a bit flippy floppy, doesn't it? Quite a bit of play in there, so we'll have to improve that. Okay, now that's everything detached, so we should be able to lift this off now. Right here it is uh, assembled now and all the screws are tightened up. This is an 8mm drill just to get that spacing correct. It's 8mm there which is uh, two threads, two pitches of the thread apart just to make it consistent I'm going to make them all like that. 
so they're all consistent that makes them interchangeable so I'm using an original one this one's already threaded and I'm going to use that one as a guide to tap out the new one that's the new one now there it is fitted I've adjusted the screws and I think I've got all the backlash out I cannot feel any backlash in there at all there it is back together again with the spacer piece screwed on with a couple of three millimeter countersunk screws so that won't fall off now that's going to make life easier go again uh, it's now nicely set up on zero we'll move forward one millimeter on the manual data input so we'll say x1 x2 should improve the definition of some of the fine engravings that I do. Uh, I'll be doing some uh, shortly I would think so keep on the lookout for some videos of this from me. Thanks for watching guys and girls. See you later. Bye.